I'm going out on a whim here. If this makes it to the YouTube side, it must have been good because I do not trust Highview at the moment. The games it's been delivering have been subpar. But these players are anything but. Professor, aka Myriad, over here playing as the Byzantines, going up against a peculiar player, Dragovan on the Marlins. If you guys have not caught Dragovan, we have a video on the YouTube side that is a perfect way to introduce you to Dragovan. I believe it's called the biggest throw in the history of Age of Empires 4. And it's not a clickbait. <laughs> Go watch that and you'll understand how unorthodox and out of the box Dragovan is in his approach to playing Age of Empires 4. So maybe he's going to show us something spicy different than Malians. Who knows? Maybe we're going to get some early trade. That is usually one of the big problems with this map, actually, is that trade posts are so defensively located that trade feels like a freebie. The interesting thing in this game is actually, I'd say, these two sieves both trade really well. The Malians would have the edge if it wasn't for the fact that the trade doesn't, like, tax correctly. But the Byzantines aren't too far behind when you consider that they also get olive oil. Now, why am I talking about trade? I don't know. I don't want the game to go that late. Let's hit the two times to get through the early game. Grand Winery on the way from Myriad. Mansa Quarry on the other side. So nothing too unorthodox here. How do I feel about this matchup and who wins it? This is an interesting matchup, actually. I find that Marlins is one of those sieves that potentially can quell the Byzantines in Fuel Age. The reason is that if the Byzantine player decides to go for the Javelin contract, he can't scale anywhere near as many jabs as you. And you can't necessarily play Hippodrome here. It doesn't feel great to play Hippodrome because Marlins also have one of the best spearmen in the game as well. So Feudal just really isn't your peak point as Byzantines. I think your goal here is to get out of, uh, out of Feudal Age into Castle Rather as quick as possible. It looks like we might be staring down the barrel of a 2TC play though. And that's pretty cool because the idea of getting out of Feudal in a Castle quickly is all well and good. But the reality is if the Malian player sees that's your intent, all he has to do is rush Fulani and he's a mile ahead. By going 2C early, this is the, I think, the kind of go-to solution. I remember I was talking to Mirad about this as well, that his feeling was ever since the nerf to the Fulani, this is probably the best way to play against Malian players if you can't beat them in Feudal, is just go 2TC, and then you put the onus on them. Because if they rush Castle Age, by the time they get there, your eco lead should be big enough that you can hold on. I believe we are gonna get a TC drop, what, on the berries here? You could go deer. It depends whether you want the mercs. And of course, you're playing Byzantines, so you always want the mercs. Ooh, we just realized actually, we can do predictions, can't we? Let's get predictions online. Who will win? Dragovan or Myriad? I'd say these two are quite closely matched as well, actually, so it should be a fun one to get predictions in on. I guarantee everyone's just going to back Professor aka Myriad because he's playing Byzantines. But Marlins have some very disgusting timings. Like, what you have to really be conscious of here is right now, Byzantines, the strongest point in their game is actually Castle Age. It's the beginning of Castle Age and how they ramp. The difficulty, however, is in response, Marlins are one of the scariest sieves at the beginning of Castle Age with their Fulani spam, right? Mass Sofering is insane. Speaking of which, Dragovan did do the unorthodox. He went for the Feudal Age sofas. Unfortunately, they came a little bit too late here. But he is not going to slow down. I can't. <laughs> Dragovan is always such a pleasure to watch. This guy is more obsessed with proxy bases than Crackety and Don combined at this stage. I can't believe this. What a map to do it on as well. This is smart. Remember Highview, a lot of stealth forest, right? People wonder why do I like the idea of Highview and why am I a fetishist for stealth forest? This is why. Tell me this isn't a cool element of AoE4. Stealth forests allow more masked play. They allow you to get a little bit more tricky and a little bit more kind of subtle on the map in a way that some like Dry Arabia doesn't allow for. I enjoy that. I think that's really cool. You know, it's something that even games like StarCraft have a lot of that I think people don't quite appreciate to the same degree when they compare it. And what I mean by that, for example, is like the idea of proxy bases, sneaking bases, these things that you try and hide for your opponent that you see, and they feel amazing when they happen. It's not to say you get it for free, right? If someone's scouting continuously, they should be able to see this eventually. But the other cool thing is, compared to StarCraft, I'd say the immediate value of it just feel like something cheesy is less. Like this proxy base in itself doesn't feel cheesy. It just feels optimal. 
But it feels doable because you can move out for this and build it, and likely it's not going to be scouted until it's built, right? Unless your opponent is on it and immediately eyeballing you the entire time. Dragovan. I believe we should be getting Siege Engineering soon. Right? Yep, he's already queued it up. So fast into a ram here. It's a smart play because Myriad's whole perspective on this game is that he needs to build enough units to defend and just scale Eco into Castle. That's his goal. That's his win condition. Even more so when he sees that his opponent has built sofas because he's like, okay, that's a heavy investment now. That's also an infantry killer. I don't really want to dance for that unless it forces me to. What I don't think Mirad is ready for is the second layer. The archers have not been revealed at all. I think there's kind of a mistake happening here. You can understand why it's happening. Myriad isn't scouting. The reason he isn't, though, is the sofas move quicker than scout, so he doesn't want to lose it. But to just not ID what's happening in this little area of the map could easily cost him this game. Archer mass building now. Dragovan. Oh, dude, he's going to instantly be in range. He can snipe three villages here. Easy peasy. Here we go. He's going to reveal it. Dives on in. Archers immediately start hitting. Myriad tries to shift away. But it's even more than three. Four villagers going down. And now Dragovan should just be getting into the ram. <laughs> Javelin contract has been selected as well. I, I'm not a fan of this. We highlighted why, right? Like when you go Jav contract like this against the Malians, like this is the sieve that can eclipse you on, on Jav count. This is the sieve that can keep you down in the dirt when it comes to ranged. Do I think longbows would be a lot better? Actually, yes, against this comp a lot better, especially now that you just saw the archers. I don't know if he clicked the contract before the archers revealed. If he did, that's incredibly unfortunate. If he didn't and wait until afterwards, I'm starting to have more questions about this build. Sometimes you have to accept the game for what it is. Would you likely see Jazz from the Marlins after you went longbow contract? Sure. But it's about how do you survive this fight? Because this is the paramount one. And it's not looking good. Doesn't even get a villager inside the TC. Outpost going to be denied. Double ram is in. And this is a game where Myriad only has a two eco lead. It's going to remain that way. Because no villagers are getting away from the second TC. Oh, Dragovan. Mounting the pressure now. Dives towards the main. Villagers barely anywhere to hide here. And the TC is down. Now, behind this, Dragovan has options, right? He could think about full lining up and going full greed, but why would you? Think about the lead he has in this game now, guys. The one redeeming factor for Myriad is to get into mass javelins to try and hold. That requires berries. Uh, that requires a lot of berries to get the scale you need. He just lost control of the secondary patch. He's already partially exhausted the primary. It's not looking great right now. Dragovan, that was an atrocious micro. I don't think you need to recommit with these sofas. He's rushing a bit. Take your time. Focus around the archers. Support the archers. The sofas are not your win condition. The archer mass is. Rams now shuffling across. Double damage up against walls, so that's not going to last long. And he can hit the system here, actually. That's quite expensive if you end up losing it this early on in the game. Archers. Wait, no, uh, Myriad. Oh my god, he trapped himself! No, 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 no! More villagers being targeted down. Textiles will at least save him this time. The Rams now in on the cistern. Myriad waiting for that second group of javelins. Needs to be careful not to just overextend here. If you fight before you have them, you lose this. Yeah, that's what I don't want to see. He kills one archer, almost loses a jav. What's more replaceable here? It's not the javelins. Blacksmith upgrade is a big problem as well. One that Mirai is now trying to fix for. Dive comes in. Sofas, baiting the limitan in range, and this should be a full commit. Sofas wrapped around the back. Archers can chase this down, and I think that's going to be GG. I don't see how Mirai is meant to hold this now. It's going to be right on the backside of gold. I don't think he even gets the blacksmiths up. And archers now can just dive in. They can even just start trading out with the jabs. Jav count is at least looking decent, but the problem right now is Mirai with practically no food income. Does not really have anything to defend those javelins? More villagers down. Rax is now being hit. A rough, rough game, man. Dude, what a play. Dragoman is such an annoying character. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if Dragoman finishes this season in, like, top 100 easily. Probably, like, I, you know, let's be more bold. Top 50. Why? High view. I actually think maps like this are exactly what a player like Dragoman thrives on. These proxy bases are much harder to hide on maps like Dry Arabia. 
but so simple when you're playing here, where half of the map almost is Stealth Forest. Dragovan, he could think about making those cows that's being questioned. He could think about going castle, but he just wants to end the game. Myriad, honestly, I think you need a second TC more now than ever, but if you rush into it, you die as well. Wait. No, please don't. No, not again. Please. <laughs> oh, thank God, he's going to keep repairing. So he will barely keep this alive. I can't believe he almost lost the system the second time. Oh, what's that? What, what javelin's going down, though? Wait, what? He overextended. All right, guys. If it seems like I'm calling it early, this one is now kind of on autopilot mode. It's not too early. Yeah, I, did I just see that correctly? Was Dragovan building a siege tower? <laughs> Mira's going to try for the rewall. Oh, this is so mean. Mira's eco is so small, any loss feels incredibly painful. It's a 16 villager lead. Jesus. I think Mira's just going to have to accept it and add in Olive Groves. Oh, blimey. You know, I was just saying, we need more players like Don. I guess Dragovan kind of ticks that box, right? He might not be pulling the villagers and all in you for a tower rush, but he will proxy racks more often than anyone else in the game. Mirad barely holding on by his Chin 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 at this stage. Garen last of the berries on the backside. He can probably get about... Maybe? I think it's just one, isn't it? Yeah, one contract worth of Mercs. He's trying to gather on the right side, but that's going to get shut down. Sofa's now breaking through the wall. Rams back in through the center, back on the system. That's going to draw attention, and then when the attention is drawn here, Dragon's going to strike on the right. This is a brilliant one too. And Miran knows it, so he has to forfeit the right side early. Archer's now peeling. Sofa's going to head in. Miran, to get out of this, would have to trade incredibly efficiently. He has got textiles. He has got Akratoi. Byzantines are pretty good at using their infantry as frontliners. You obviously have to be very selective with time for that. And the problem is you can't lose the Limitane. Because if you lose the Limitane, the tankiness of the villages don't matter. They'll still die to sofas. So your goal in this fight should be able to uh, should be to focus around like absorbing the blow with the villages, then pulling them back. And the Limitane build an advantage for that. But right now, this Archer Mass is becoming way too big of an advantage. The other issue for Mirad on this spawn, sometimes a double forward tree line is a good thing. In this game, it's an atrocious thing. He has no wood income, so he can't scale his own arches. Not that you'd really want to against jab potential, but at this point, you need every unit you can get. And arches would be the most cost efficient from a non food perspective. Dive onto the farmlands. Mirad putting all the wood in olive groves and immediately getting idled up here. <sighs> I, at this point, I feel like we're just watching Mirad be bullied. <laughs> and I feel bad about it. Oh, that makes me feel better. Thank you, Sawmian, for the sub. That's exactly what I needed. <laughs> Mira is trying to go for a second TC. I think it's his only way out. I agree. The problem is, you can already see that Dragon's guarding the flank resources. So where do you expect to drop this expensive TC? A lot of players in Dragon's position would have just went for Castle Age at this stage. I kind of respect the fact that he's not. I think you go for it now. You're so far ahead, it's kind of a throw not to. Then again, you can still win with an all-in. It's just harder, right? That's why most people choose castle at this point. Because most players will just acknowledge and immediately GG because of it. Why is Mirad not GGing? He knows it's not castle, right? Like, he, he understands the type of player Dragovan is. And what he's trying to do is find that moment where Dragovan actually does just accept that it's going to be castle age. And then puts 1,800 resources into something other than units. That's the edge he wants. That's going to be the thing that gives him the best shot of trying to hold on. But it's getting harder and harder by the minute. Been out to 35 worker kills in this game. Archers sniping down a lot of the Limitana here. They're expensive to replace. Javelin count is not high enough. I mean, this should be an A click in. If I'm Dragovan right now, I'm, I don't care. Dude, I'm just, I'm just A braining this one because there's simply not enough Javelins to clear me up. Does Myriad have a bet on for this game or something? Like, it's so resistant to giving it up. 
Mira's like, I need that extra elo. I'm playing Byzantines. I meant to auto win. Not this one, buddy. GG gets cool. Dragovan's proxy bases extend far beyond just his English games.